Hello, this is Doug Brunke, CEO of Global Chamber, and today I'm with Diana Bullen of Mesa Community College. She is the queen of international at Mesa. Uh, you might not necessarily relate community colleges with international, but it, actually there are quite a number of them across the U.S. that are. Mesa's one of the top ones. And so we're here with Diana to, to talk more about that and hopefully give us some insight so uh, you as a business owner uh, or as an executive can hopefully tie in to some of the resources that are available to you. So, Diana, good morning. Good morning, Doug. Thank you. Uh, could you explain more about how community colleges are supporting international business education? Actually, there's been a movement in the community college arena to infuse internationalization of curriculum, especially in the business area. It started uh, about almost 20 years ago with uh, Michigan State University and the Cyber, which is the Center for Business uh, Education and Research, which is funded by the federal government. It was a project that they started in conjunction with Lansing Community College, which is also in Michigan, and they developed the International Business Institute, which is an institute that promotes internationalization of the curriculum for community colleges. That started in 1997. I participated in that program about 10 years ago. It was my very first encounter with the program. I was passionate then about international business and um, I'm still passionate about international business. And I feel that there is a huge need for the community to understand what it is that we offer. We have some programs here at the community college that offer both a technical degree and a transfer degree. And by technical degree, I mean an associate's degree that could prepare a student to go into the workforce uh, and be engaged in international trade at some level. We also have a certificate in international trade, which really focuses on those that are already in the field in international trade and may want to specialize. Maybe they want to be able to be credentialed with the CBG, let's see, CB, the Certified Global Business Professional. And uh, if they're interested in going that route, our international trade certificate definitely will help them be ready for that exam. This is what uh, a lot of businesses might be interested in. Maybe they have employees or they themselves, the owners, would like to know a little bit more about U.S. regulation and foreign trade policy. And our certificate would definitely get them prepared for that field. Wow, you guys are been busy. We have been busy, yes. We have been uh, trying to fill a need in the community that it is really not met by universities. And currently at the Maricopa Community College's uh, system, we are the only college that offers the, the certificate. How uh, unique is what you're talking about relative to things you've seen across the U.S.? Because the Michigan State and their connection to the community colleges, I think you're involved with that network. How would you rate Mesa relative to other things that you've seen around the country? I think we're state of the art. We have definitely been trying to be on the leading edge of international business and promotion. So I think we are one of the top. Okay, fantastic. And so you, you're a double winner because you mentioned cyber schools, and I'm a graduate of Michigan State the Business School, and I'm very proud that Michigan State is now still one of the 16 cyber schools in the U.S., yes. and you know, I hate to admit it, uh, at being a University of Utah graduate also, that BYU, uh, which yes. you uh, or have been affiliated with, uh, yes. is also one of the cyber schools. So do you have connections to the cyber school? Certainly Michigan State. I mean, yes. How, how does that system work? We actually have a local um, area cyber, which is called the Rocky Mountain Cyber, okay. and it's BYU and uh, the University of Colorado in Denver. So they are part of what is known as the Rocky Mountain uh, Cyber, and I am uh, associated with them. I have helped plan some events that were regional for community colleges and universities to promote international business, international programs. I'm the director of a study abroad program that focuses on international business, which is very unique at the community college level. 
uh, that's one of the things that makes us unique as a college, that we have a program that focuses on taking the students out of the country and actually experience and talk to businesses uh, in other parts of the world just so that they get a glimpse of what it is like and what other people around the world are feeling and thinking when it comes to international trade. So I've, I've been in some of your classes that had you know, students that were actually very experienced in business and some that are, that are uh, new, uh, basically at, at a student level. How would you, you know, where, where are you now relative to experienced business people versus you know, student level? And then where, where is that going? How do you see that evolving over the next few years? We still have a, a mixture of uh, expertise when it comes to the classroom. We do have some that are more mature, but we still have a very large community of students that is freshman, sophomore, and they're looking at transferring to ASU and maybe pursuing a career in global. So I think we're still at that, at that level. Our certificate is doing much better. Our certificate of international trade is doing much better. So we are getting more adults that are interested in taking those classes and uh, improving, enhancing their knowledge about international trade so that they can pursue a career that it's either in logistics or export import. Okay, fantastic. So what would you rec uh, recommend a company do given you know, what you have and what they need? What, what would you recommend that they, uh, what their next steps would be? Their next steps would be either to contact us or just take a look at the website, mesacc.edu slash business, and um, they can search for a certificate in international trade, and that will give them an idea of what it is that the certificate offers. They can definitely con uh, contact me directly, or they can contact the Global Chamber, and you will definitely know how to get a hold of me, so that would be another way of contacting them. But that would give them an idea of what the certificate offers and how that could actually be an enhancement to what their needs are. Fantastic. Diana, thank you and Mesa Community College for all that you do in the international realm. Thank you for your support of the Global Chamber and thank you for uh, the support of both the community here and also the Global Tribe. Thank you, Doug. It's been a pleasure knowing you all these years. It, it has truly enhanced my knowledge and my networking in the area, so I appreciate it. Thank you, Diana.